Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to unbox that mystery smartphone, which of course, if you've read the title, you already know, is the ZTE Axon M, also known as the Z999. It arrived today in this great big box from Mike Reed out of Florida. He's uh, letting me do a secondary review on it. Uh, so uh, we're going to get right to it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to go through it. I'm going to tell you what I think. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's get right to the intro now. All right, kids, here we go. Time for the unboxing now. Uh, in that big old box was this... Uh, box from AT&T, which was the original carrier on these. There's some bloatware on here. Yeah, uh, I'll admit it. I cracked it open while I was at work, checked it out real quick, and then recovered the screen so I could do the peel off. Mike was kind enough to send these along, uh, or smart enough, because both sides of this are glass. Let's not forget that. Both sides are glass. So we're going to put some screen protectors on it. We're not going to do that today, at least not on camera. Uh, I'm lucky that I got home as quick as I did just so I can shoot this. So we're going to set those off to the side and let's get right to this fantastic unboxing. Now, I'll name off a few specs, but as I always say, description below. Read it. It'll have all the specs in it. It'll have the link to where you can get this on Amazon for, as of, as of noon today when I checked it, about $127.99. That's a steal for this phone, folks. Let's find out why. First, let's uh, get it out of the box. Ooh, nice at t box there. Now, what do we got here? We've got our little phone here. There's our phone. We're going to set that off to the side. I know. Why is he setting everything to the side? I don't want to see the damn phone. It's like, sorry, folks. You have to wait. Like everyone else. And so over here, we find an owner's manual. We'll probably read it, I don't know, someday. Or I'll just ask Mike to email me a synopsis, product warranty, and other info from at and And we've got a USB-C charging cable in here. We've got a mighty fine looking pair of earbuds. Yes, this phone sports a headphone jack, folks. Headphone jack. And down here, we've got what I believe is the SIM removal tool, I think it, uh, although I used a different SIM removal at work, uh, and, uh, oh, whoa, what's these, what is these, he just fell out, hmm, oh, I don't know what this is, it's like some weird kind of, I don't know, I have no idea what this is, folks, uh, Someday we'll know. Soft rubber, maybe you just put it on your keychain. Could be cool. Might be, could be. Uh, and we also get a little uh, OTG adapter here. It'll go from USB C over to full size USB. That way you can plug all kinds of myriad of stuff into this powerhouse. And this. Make no doubt, make no mistake, this is a powerhouse. So we're going to slide that stuff back in there. We're going to check out this power brick. And this isn't one of them uh, Apple power bricks, folks. This is a serious power brick. Let's check the statistics here. Uh-huh. has 9 volts at 2 amps or 
12 volts at one and a half amps. This is a fast charger, folks. Whoa, that's fast. Now I charged it at work using my old Blue Studio Energy 2 charger that I pretty much charge everything else with. And I don't believe there's anything else in this box. So we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna button all that, all those goodies up because, well, we don't need to look at those because we know what you wanna see. We know what you wanna see, don't we? Oh, hmm, that is weird. It has to slide around this stuff somehow. Or it just lays flat or I <laughs> you got me. Yeah. Let's get that the hell out of my way. I'll figure out how to repackage it. In a moment. Now let's get the phone out and uh I'll take a peek at it. And like I said, I've already taken the cover off once and played around with it a bit. So but anyway, we've got our uh, button here to activate the assistant. We've got a button here. That's our power button. It is also your fingerprint reader. So I've set it up with my thumb already. And then if I hold it right-handed, I can use my middle finger to get to it. Your volume rockers are over here. Here's your camera. Now that doubles as a rear camera. How can it do that, you say? Well... Let's check the magic out. When you do this, oh yeah, nice click. When you do that, and then open the camera app, or if you leave it closed and open the camera app mostly, and then tell it you're going to shoot a rear-facing shot, all of a sudden this screen goes out. That becomes the back. This screen becomes the front. The bottom we have a our microphone and one of the speakers this has dual stereo speakers the speaker up here is also putting out sound uh it's a it's a pretty good setup folks so we're gonna peel this stuff off oh yeah i know you like that oh that sounds good doesn't it man i'm gonna save these so i can send this back to mike exactly as i received it uh, because he's probably going to use this as a daily driver for a while. And I don't blame him. Like I said, I've played with it. So, uh, there's the phone. Nice, shiny front, shiny back. Very slippery. And remember, you have to put a screen protector on here, folks. You just have to. There's no two ways about it. Uh, if you don't, oh, you're going to be sorry. Uh, because no matter which way you set it now, it's going to be laid on the screen. So you're going to want to use some of these, you know, screen protectors. Now, most of them, you know, there's a slight curvature uh, at the edge. And uh, they don't quite get to the edges in some cases. But it's enough that the bulk of the phone is laying on that. They may peel off, but, you know, you get like an 8-pack. I think on Amazon I saw one company, it might have been the J&D, uh, selling them. Because I was going to buy them myself. It had, you know, sent them along just to protect it while I tested it. In the meantime, everything that involves this phone, I'm going to have a paper towel in my back pocket. No two ways about it. So let's, uh, let's get right to it. I'm going to fire it up here. We're going to hit that power button see if we got any charge on it and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it up oh there it is powered by Android this has Android 7.1.1 so I'll be right back and we'll check it out when I get back all right folks lo and behold we're back I got her all set up I got the sim I got the sim card in it probably getting notifications already um Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, it's got all my apps. How did that happen? Well, you know exactly how that happened, folks. I did say, played around with it today, didn't I? So I went ahead and we got pretty fast Wi-Fi at work and I installed the crap out of everything. I even put PUBG on here. There'll be a gaming test. So let's open this son of a bitch up and check it out. 
Very nice. Quick, nice feeling of aluminum back. You're stuck with the AT&T logo, and you're also stuck with eh, a little bit of bloatware over here. You have the M button. And let's just go to... Uh, I got it. I got a million things open, I guess. Clear all those. All right. That's it. There's my app drawer. Uh, uh, um, that's not really my home screen. Well, that's okay. This is my home screen. Uh-oh. I got chats going over here. Uh, this is very cool. Uh, what we've got here, I think I have auto. Yeah, I certainly do. So you get the split screen going that you get in Android 7 and later. That is very cool. I did some updates. I got most of my gobbledygook on here. Uh, that one would expect. Down at the bottom here. This is the app door up here. And I don't know why it's a pretty cool. I guess I can. I can, oh, looky there. Now I got her set right. Just swipe across. You want to get to your app drawer. You swipe up. And that's all she wrote. And welcome. Uh, I don't know. Let me get our email. Um, I've got most of my regular apps that I use. And the apps I use to test stuff like, uh, whoa. See, it's very easy because of the, it has some big bezels. Use them. <laughs> you don't want to use them. Uh, it does a very good job. And uh, you can use it as a split screen. You can have two separate apps running. Say I wanted to open up, uh, say, Chrome. And like I said, very annoying. Very annoying. Uh, and... I'm going to open up Chrome here. Now, Chrome is going to show us, you're damn right, the entire, entire, uh, screen. So, that's cool. I can see how you get used to this line in the middle very quickly. I don't know if this will rotate for us or not. It certainly does. So... Nice, very nice, nice and fluid, pretty quick. This is a Snapdragon uh, 821, four gig of RAM, uh, 20 megapixel camera. So far, you know, like I said, I haven't played with it too much. But let's see what we can do here. Let's go in the modes again, and let's go to the, uh, we can mirror the screen. Now this is very cool. Uh -huh. Okay, so I thought that was me. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe it's this one. Yeah, there we go. So let's say you go to YouTube, for instance. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, uh huh. Uh, let's go to YouTube. Let's, uh, I'm going to check out this one guy's website and see if it's any good. Yeah, uh, this guy's, yeah, he's kind of cool, but we'll see. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Damn. Really? Yeah, I gotta do a little editing here. All right, I got it all set up. We're watching this guy's channel. He's got some pretty good stuff on here. Now, here's the cool part. You want to show this cool video to your friends. Uh oh. And of course, I screwed this all up. Let's get right to the intro, and we'll be back. 
All right, so here's what your friends can see. So they're sitting over on that side of the desk. They're watching what you're watching. So when you're watching some okay, idiot folks, on the internet the, uh, do something stupid, unboxing. guess what? You get to show off to them. It's like having two screens. Well, it is. And then if you decide you're just going to flip it on open, you might want to, you know, switch to full mode. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And now uh, later I will shoot the intro, but I will actually shoot that. Oh, well, it's pretty after. immersive, isn't it? Now C Butler went way overboard. Wrapped under this rubber band with all kinds of good stuff. Alright, we're gonna hit stop. That is groovular, folks. Groovular. As I would call it. So so far. I mean first impressions. I like this thing. And at 127 bucks with the Snapdragon 821, you're getting one heck of a deal. See now that screen goes out and it doesn't matter. And you've got a five inch, five point two inch smartphone with a nineteen twenty by ten eighty, I believe, display. Ten eighty P. So my official opinion is, is, wait for it, is that you should read the description below, check out the link to Amazon, and buy one of these. That's my initial impressions. Now, of course, we'll do that whole screensaver install, and I'll test that some headphones with it. Well, we'll check it all out. And also, at the bottom of this video you'll see pop up subscribe and a bell and a thumbs up yes give us that thumbs up we need those and I'll catch you in the next one and thanks for watching because without you there's no point in me being me have a great one folks